Family is important, very important. Family is one of the central pillars to having a good life. Cherish your family, whether they are your chosen family or your blood-related family. I am lucky. My chosen family is also, but not limited to, my blood-related family. My dad was a family man. He did a lot of things in life to provide for his family, for us, and to keep us together and have us spend time together. I think this is one of the things that made it clear that he had love in his heart. And I've come to realize more and more that he was also a wise man for this. Here's something that a lot of you might relate to. I've historically been very bad at grounding myself, creating wedges between my mind-body connection. Simply put, I easily live in my head a lot, overthinking, creating narratives most often negatively directed at myself. This active internal world comes in handy when applied to writing and my job in general because it fuels some forms of creativity for sure, but it can tend to devolve into a toxic internal environment sometimes. This isn't unique because I believe it to be one of the most common afflictions in people's mental worlds, so to speak. But what I found was that family can be one of the most grounding remedies against this tendency. See, family quite literally act as a root that gives you a place on earth. You are someone's son, daughter, sister, brother, grandchild, friend. If you honor that connection by purposefully spending time together or having real conversations that have meaning to you, regardless of the seriousness of any given interaction, it can be just laughing and fooling around too that's just as valuable, sometimes more valuable even, and you'll find yourself having settled down a part of the anxiety that might be bubbling up sometimes. Don't drown yourself in isolation. It's also just a form of love and community which, as you may recall from the first chapter, is one of the fundaments of a thriving human existence. And before I continue with my main narrative, I also want to point out that all of this doesn't mean that arguments should or are never had with your family. Just recently, I had a rather profound disagreement of sorts with my own mother, um, where some really intense criticism was uttered. But still in the beginning and towards the end of that conversation, that discussion, I still repeated that I appreciate and love her, which I think is the key thing. And that should never be clouded by temporary frustrations that you will undoubtedly have towards anyone that you're close with at some point. And that leads us back into the original points I was making. It's simple really, but yet I see a lot of people not being wholly appreciative of the connection that they have with their chosen family, blood related or not. And believe me when I say that there are few things worse than losing one of your heroes or biggest pillars of support and then realizing that you could have appreciated them more when they were still alive. Give them a rose while they can still smell them.